I think we take water for granted. I was fortunate in early in my career to be a Peace Corps volunteer. And I went to the developing world and we worked in communities where we built sanitation systems and water systems. But in those facilities where people have to walk a mile to get water that isn't even clean, and where you see the impacts of unsafe drinking water on the children, on people in general, you realize that water is just precious. We can turn on a faucet, it's gonna be safe, and it's essential for us to live our lives. So the journey of water and how it gets to us in Southern California is it either starts out the Colorado River, Northern California, either one of those two sources for over 300 miles gets transported, open ditches, canals, pipelines, pumped all the way here. There's a lot of effort required to provide water. Backing up from the faucet in your house to canals and the whole distribution system, it's immense, it's complicated, it takes a lot of effort and expense and in, in your coordination to make it all work. One of the benefits that we have at Santa Margarita Water District is we have local groundwater as well. The plant that's behind me also is a source of water for our community that we extract from the groundwater and then treat. Similar to the water that we're getting from these far reaches, it all goes through treatment prior to being supplied to the various homes for your uses, for drinking, for bathing, for irrigating your yard, for filling your swimming pool, all of this water goes through extensive treatment, every step of the way being tested to make sure it meets all regulations, meets all health requirements, and provides that clean, cool tasting water so that when you turn on your tap, you can have that knowledge that the water is utmost purity, meets all these stringent requirements, and is even better than those requirements. We don't just treat to meet, we treat to beat what those requirements are. After the water is used, it goes into the drainage system of the home, and that's where we pick it up again. We collect that water, it goes into the sewer pipes, it runs to central pump stations that then pump it to treatment plants. We treat it to tertiary levels that we can then reuse that water for irrigation. In this community, most of the public spaces you see is irrigated with recycled water that comes from those reclamation plants. The test methods that we use to test the water in the laboratory, they are all ELAP certified. This is the Environmental Laboratory Accreditation Program with the state. And so all the test methods that we use to test the water, be it non-domestic water, which are the recycled water or the drinking water, it has to be the approved methods by ELA. Our goal, our mission is to provide a safe, reliable source of water that's economical as possible. We're in the Waterworks Garden. It's a half acre demonstration garden, our living laboratory where we test out different garden styles. And um, our goal is to test out plants, test out different methods of irrigation, and also uh, organic and sustainable gardening practices. Our engineering staff works very closely with our operations group. And our goal is to keep everything in operation and working very efficiently. When it rains, a lot of people in South Orange County think the water just goes directly to the ocean. In the Santa Margarita Water District, we use a gubernadora basin as well as the Oster Creek barrier to capture that water. And that water can be pumped back up to open reservoirs and reused as irrigation water. We have also created a water treatment plant in Mission Viejo, which supplies water to Lake Mission Viejo where people can go swimming. We are always innovating. We're always looking for a better way to do what we do. A great example of that is the facility we built with Lake Mission Viejo. The lake came to us at a time when they were short on water supplies. They were concerned about water supplies. Understanding it's a recreational lake, it was identified that they were gonna be cut back their water supply to keep it for drinking water. They came to the district and said, how can we provide water for our lake? We developed a methodology that we would take recycled water, treat it to the same level as this treatment plant here does for drinking water, but to use it for lake fill water. We take recycled water, treat it through reverse osmosis, put it directly into the lake, which is a swimming, boating, fishing lake that has never been done in this country before. We were the first that's ever implemented this 
And what that has done is saved millions of gallons of water a year from being used for that to save for drinking water purposes. The end result of this project is we now have this community amenity that doesn't use one drop of drinking water, yet provides all of the benefits for the community with no impact on our water supplies. It gives the people more confident in the water that they are coming in contact with. This is the benefits of the innovation that the district looks at on a daily basis to provide the water. We live in a dry climate. It is important to use water wisely. Everybody needs water for drinking. Without water, people can't live. Without water, we are nothing. Our water is clean. Clean water is water you can consume that's good for you. This reservoir was built in case of emergencies in the district and can supply water to the customers 24-7, seven days a week. Have you ever wondered what a 244 million gallon reservoir looks like? It looks like this. We need to think on a long-term horizon. We need to be sure that in 30 or 40 years that we're still able to deliver water, that we're still able to treat sewage, and that we're still good stewards of the environment and that we're still protecting human health. I am beyond confident that the water we are sending to the public is of good quality. Water to me is my career, my life, and my passion. Here at Santa Margarita Water District, every drop of water counts. Water is the most important resource we have and it's important to steward it well. Stewardship to me means using resources in the most efficient way possible. Stewardship from our perspective is to treat the monies that get paid into the district as if it's our own. Santa Margarita Water District to me is stewardship. The Water District exemplifies stewardship by being very thoughtful in all the project work that we do.